computer scientist welcome to my channel phd with shalza i hope you all are doing well and your applications are going quite well so today i have a very good news to share with all those who are applying for phd in chemistry so there is one european society chemistry which has made all the relevant information regarding the universities scholarships eligibility criteria which you all want to apply for phd abroad and it's just one click away you know how i'll show you so let me share my screen and then i'll show you how it goes so this is yeah so you can see it is a european chemical society and there they have given this map so if you want to go to uk for your phd in chemistry uh, that is i am specifying because it is only for the chemistry people but if you are in another subject like physics or maybe any other then you can also see the scholarships and the criteria but maybe the website are available only for the chemistry students one so i am clicking here and there you have two options whether you can see the scholarships and general information so let's start with the general information so phd in uk if you are not fully funded then you have to pay tuition fees so the question is is it common to have tuition fees and what is the average so here you can see for undergraduate student also master student also and the fee for the doctorate degree is Sixty three thousand to six thousand uh, pounds, but I am saying it's only for those who are applying for self-funded PhD, and it is only for the students who are home students, like who are UK students or Europe students. If you are from India or China, then you are considered an international student, and for that, it varies. and it is very much than 6000 pounds so you should uh, consider that but if you get fully funded phd or like you applied for phd position then your source of funding are listed here all the funding source are here and how you can get into a phd also written here add your title and here so you just go to these different website and you will come to know what are the positions available there and yeah that's it also if you go to scholarships then they will tell you scholarships are applied for after one has obtained the phd project so if someone has obtained the phd project then that scholarships are can be seen on findaphd.com jobs.ac.uk but if institute is not arranging funding for you then you can contact eprsc welcome trust and other uh scholarships as i mentioned in the in shorts youtube video maybe you have seen that so is it like that in U united kingdom so let's now move to maybe germany so if we go to germany you will see all the general information and here you can see phd can be in english and german okay this point is clear now is it common to have tuition fees so there are no tuition fees for eu students but there can be fees for non eu students so that you have to check and how you can apply for phd position so this is which i mentioned in my first video by talking to professor or by arranging funding through scholarships so let's suppose you want to arrange funding through scholarships so let's go to scholarships and here they mentioned all the websites which you can go and look for scholarship and here industries which might take phd students or maybe for internship so this is the case for germany now let's go to maybe sweden so in sweden they are just giving general information so the main websites are look to job in field of chemistry you go to this site and you will see all the related funding opportunities or maybe jobs in field of chemistry so this is it isn't it good so is it very good for those who are just new and who want to get a basic idea about how you can get uh, into phd and what are the basic information 
so i think if someone is applying so they should have a look at it it's really good initiative by the european chemical society so i just want you to look at it and that's it what i want so i hope this may helps you i thought it would be great to share with you that's why i shared this hope so that's it what i wanted to share i hope you really liked it so bye bye and all the best for your applications and do subscribe my channel if you like it okay then bye